Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Today we're in Luke, Gospel of Luke, chapter 4. Today, just one verse, verse 16. Here's what it said. Talking about Jesus. So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. Some people have an idea that somehow the uh, the early church bumped everything over to Sunday. You know, we 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 kept we used to keep Sabbath. That, that's a Jewish thing. Now the church does Sunday, and this isn't the place to unpack a giant study on that. What I can tell you right here is that it's unambiguous in the text right here. Jesus kept the seventh day Sabbath, not Sunday. The Sunday's not the seventh day. Sunday's the first day of the week in our calendar. Jesus kept the Sabbath, and it was his practice, just as it was for everybody else, everybody else around him. Uh, they had all been following what the Bible already taught way back in the, in the beginning of the Bible, Genesis and Exodus. He'd been keeping the Sabbath. So here we have Jesus returns and he goes to Nazareth. And uh, it was his custom. It was his practice. It was his daily. It was the way he, he lived out his week. Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Boom, he's, he's there in the synagogue. He's there where God's own people are gathered. He went in the synagogue on the Sabbath. He stood up to read. And of course, day by day, uh, People in a synagogue, when they worship on the Sabbath day, many times they'll come up and do a scripture reading right out of the scrolls right there. So Jesus comes and does that. What uh, thing I would like to do is uh, be have been there that day and heard Jesus read. I guess we're going to read hear Jesus read in just a moment here, maybe tomorrow morning. But right here it's interesting to see that Jesus was a Sabbath keeper. And he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He doesn't change. Hebrews 13, 8. Something to keep in mind. I know this isn't a study on a Sabbath or Sunday issue, but it's just interesting to me that my Lord, Jesus, who says he's Lord of the Sabbath, here he is keeping the Sabbath again. Funny how that just keeps popping up in the New Testament. Sabbath blessings. Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the example of Jesus and may we be true to you. May we uh, be in the church as Jesus was on the, the, the day of worship you've set aside. And may we hear from your word on those days. Lord, be our helper. Watch over us. Help us to become more like Jesus. May we receive the blessings of Jesus. Why not? So if that's what you want to give us, Lord, give it. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God bless you day by day. And maybe watch for the practices of Jesus. Maybe we'll learn some things and see some things we haven't seen before about being disciples of Jesus. God bless you today.